Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics Plus. In this video, let's understand a half adder design using different modeling styles of Verilog. Starting with the data flow modeling, before going to the code, let us look at the block diagram, truth table, and the expression for half adder. Half adder takes AB inputs and some and carry will be the output. So you can see the truth table here for different combinations of AB. By using the truth table, we can generate the expression for sum as well as carry. Sum will be XR of A and B and carry will be a logical and of A and B. So using these expressions, we can write a Verilog code that is called as data flow modeling. Module half adder, here A, B, sum, carry are the input output ports of this. And I am using assign keyword here to write the expressions as it is by using and and XR operators. This is how assign keyword can be used here in the data flow modeling of Verilog with expressions. It means assign carry is equal to A and B. After A and B is computed, it will be assigned to carry. Similarly, A XRB is calculated and it will be assigned to sum. This is the simple example for data flow modeling. Then let us look at the gate level modeling. In the gate level modeling, we are going to use the gate primitives available in Verilog readily. And gate XR gate are used over here. Since half adder requires one XR gate with input AB and one more and gate with input AB. Here multiple inputs also we can define in a gate level modeling. So A and D and is the keyword for AND gate primitive. And I am using A1 as the instance name. And first we need to write the output over here and then inputs. The output of AND gate is carry as the port name says. And similarly XR gate will be giving the sum. And A1, X1 corresponding to these two instances. This is how gate level modeling can be written for a half order. And here is the test bench you can see. The test bench will not make any changes with respect to the modeling styles are changed. The test bench for the half adder is this, even if we can use a behavioral modeling Verilog code. Let us look at the behavioral modeling code. In the behavioral modeling also we can use the expressions, but we need to put under always block. Here you can see always block is used. This always block will be having a sensitivity list always at the rate sensitive to a comma b means this logic what we written in always block this expressions will be sensitive to change in a b whenever a b changes this will be executed always block will be executed so always at a comma b begin and end in between begin and end, i have written carry is equal to a and b sum is equal to a x r b here you can observe i have used a non-blocking operator in behavioral description, we are going to use a non-blocking operator. But since it is a combinational circuit, we can go with the data flow description itself. Even if you are going with the behavioral description, you can use non-blocking also. This is about the half adder design using three modeling styles. And if you look at the test bench, this is for behavioral modeling code what I have written. The test bench will be like this. And also for the gate level modeling, it, see, it will be same. There will be no change in the test bench with respect to the modeling styles changed in the design. Thank you.